Hey everyone, it's Michelle with Vinvon Alley. Thank you so much for watching another video with me. This is a plan with me in my faith planner. This was last week's setup and it was so, so, so cute. I really love how this came out. Um, you have to go look at that video to see how I put this together, but this was so pretty. I just went with the theme that was going on here on the spine and just did all the colors. And as you can see, it hasn't been done for Sunday yet because Sunday isn't here. I'm filming this on the Saturday for next week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this plan with me for this week. So this is it. So it seems like the month of April, they had this running theme of multicolor on the um, spine of the paper. So I'm just going to continue to go with that. And I wanted to utilize a... Um, something I saw. Let's just put it like that. I saw Lisa Mac do it. I saw other um, planner babes do it where they utilized a lot of these circle stickers because uh, these quote stickers because I don't know about you but there are so many of them in the faith planner. This is the old faith planner. This is not faith warrior of course but they're just sitting there so why not put them to use? So I'm going to utilize this. I've also got um these banners that I'm going to put over here on the side like I did last week. I'm also going to utilize this little Bible, the rose gold color. Probably won't be, these are circle ones are probably in gold, but I don't mind. Gold is gold. I, I think I can get away with it in here. And then I'm going to utilize some of these washies that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. These purple, yellow, pink, green. I don't know if I'm going to use all of those. I'm going to, I need to use like one, two, three colors, and then I'm going to utilize this big washi, which is going to be over here. So I'm going to have to wipe that out. And yeah, that's it. Let's just get going. That way I can leave this the way that it is. So without any further ado, I'll just go ahead and get started. I love how it um, turned out um, last week. So I started or the Lord had me start because I always like to be led by the by Holy Spirit on what to read what to study and it doesn't matter what I'm led to read because the Bible says that all scripture is beneficial to us so the Lord has me in the book of Ezekiel I know I've heard many people say, oh, I, the book of Ezekiel is just so much symbolism and it's kind of um, hard to understand certain things and blah, blah, blah. But Ezekiel's basically like the rest of the prophets that have, um, that are in the Bible, like Jeremiah, he was sent with a message to the people of Israel because of their rebellion. And I mean, there's so much to see in this reading that I'm just like, wow. I almost cut that the wrong direction to make my little flag. I'm just like, wow, I'm loving the reading. And that's the thing, when you're led by God to read a certain um, scripture or a certain uh, chapter or whatever it is, believe me, you will get the grace to read it and that it will be worth reading. I'm enjoying the reading in Ezekiel and I'm going to continue through the entire book until it's done. There are so many things that have been pointed out in there. I mean, it. the book starts out in how God called him as a prophet and it starts out in his call. This flag is going to be off because this is so wide, but I don't care. It's okay. Um, it started off in his call and then his commission as a prophet. And that goes for every everyone. When God calls us into the kingdom, there is a process. There is a way that he does it. And he teaches us. He teaches us in his word. And he teaches us in showing us things. So there's a lot of symbolism because Ezekiel is one who um, experienced a lot of um, visions and dreams. And in in God first appearing to him, it was the most magnificent vision where cherubims um, appear to him um, 
you know, on top of a wheel, on top of wheels within a wheel. And it was just, the glory of God was just so much. So may, maybe, if, you know, some of us have had that coming to Jesus experience, as most people would put it, where it was just woo, mind blowing. And maybe some of us didn't, but this was Ezekiel's experience and there was just so much in it. I, I was just like, wow, wow. Um, and then it just showed, you know, God's heart towards his people and how he was hurt when his people turned their back on him after all he had done. I mean, from the time of Moses, he brought them out of Egypt. He brought them out of bondage. And it's like, they forgot everything that God had done for them. And God was just so furious at the people of Israel. But we know that we serve a loving God because he sacrificed Jesus so that we can still have life and have it more abundantly, as scripture says. But the, the book of Ezekiel, in studying it, like I said, some people say that, <clears throat> um, oh, it's so full of symbolism or they can't understand or whatever, whatever. I think I'm going to use these three colors. I don't want to use the green because green's already here. So in... in um, in studying the Bible, King James is not the, the best version to understand it. King James was the version that was transcribed, as we know. And it was transcribed for the Old Testament from the Hebrew, from the Hebrew text and in the, in the New Testament from the... Um, Greek, Greek text. But the best way I find for you to understand the Bible is to read the King James Version. I believe you should read the King James Version. If you hear jingling, it's my dog. He his little collar. Read the King James Version, but also the New Living Translation. Why do I say that? Because... I use a concordance. I use a, a, a concordance called the Sword app, which breaks down certain words from what they, what their original meaning was from the Hebrew and the Greek translation. And I find that the New Living Translation comes as close to those meanings as possible. And also the New Living Translation gives you the best understanding of scripture it breaks it down in a way that yes you can understand so Caillou his name is Caillou he's getting excited he hears a bus or outside and he thinks he knows what it is let's just put it like that Caillou He was sleeping under my bed, and now he's just... Anyway, as I was saying, best way to study the Bible, read the King James Version, but also read the New Living Translation. It helps. I feel like I put it down, and then it drags. This, this is a very forgiving washing. You see how easy it comes up? It doesn't drag, but I want it to stay not like staying on the edge where I put it stay right there okay let's see if we can get it I have to put it down bit by bit there we go bit by bit all right stay right there so yeah I'm enjoying the book of Ezekiel um let me see if I can peep in the planner to, sh to see what else there was. Uh, yeah, God made a very elaborate appearance to Ezekiel. Um, he told him that he would be known as a prophet when he went before the people. How would he be known as a prophet? Basically because the word that God was giving him would come to pass. It would come to pass. So they would know, yeah, he was a prophet. And he had um, Ezekiel to do some 
some strange acts, but he had Ezekiel experience the judgment, basically, because he had Ezekiel to lay on his left side for 390 days, which was the number of days that the, peop the, is the people of Israel had sinned. Then he had him to lay on the, the right side for 40 more days. And, okay, that's showing through there, right? And I just thought that this was interesting that Ezekiel had to, exp to suffer the judgment before he was able to go and prophesy it to the people to the um to the children of Israel but isn't that always the case i mean for those of you who know what i'm talking about that when god gives you a word concerning something he always deals with you concerning that word first it's true for instance Suppose you see someone doing something and you're not pleased with it. God will have you to deal with that word in your own life as well. Because the finger is not for us to just point at someone because the Bible says before you pluck the imperfection out of your neighbor's eye, said so you need to pluck it out of your, take the speck out of your eye first, right? None of us are perfect. We all see things that are not right. We see people do things that aren't right, but we're not perfect. But thank God for grace. Thank God for grace. And that's why the word, you know, that word has to deal with us first because we have to understand that, look, that person's not perfect. And sometimes, ooh, I don't know what the happened there. What happened? It just tore. I'm not trying to waste it. Let's see if we can, we can fix that up. You know what? Don't be lazy, Shelly. I'll just put it back down. Yeah, we have to understand that there's grace and that we have to have grace towards other we may not like what they're doing but we have to understand that this flesh is weak and that you know they may be battling with something and they may need you to pray for them and they and they may need you to help them through what they're they're doing that's wrong so the word always deals with us first before we're able to go in not cast judgment but help someone else or warn someone else I don't know what's wrong with this washi, but I made it to this side and I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't know what happened. Anyway, my little circles are going to cover it up, but it's just acting funky. Real funky. I'm going to have to cut that. Come on, I cut you and I cut it and it, it <laughs> doesn't want to come up. So... Ezekiel had to suffer under the un, under the the judgment first before he had to before he was able to go out and give the and give that warning and that rebuke to the children of Israel. He had to he had to mourn for them. He had to cry cry out before he was able to do that. I mean there's there's so much to get from from the text and it's funny because a friend of mine we were just discussing the same week that you know before you minister a word because we're both ministers and we've had to to give a word um, before the church or a congregation we agreed that before you give that word That word is dealt with, you deal with that word first. And it's so true. Say you had to teach a message. We had to teach a message on love. 
we have to deal with that word first. We That word examined our heart first. That's the only way you can effectively minister or teach that word is that the word examines your heart first. I don't know what this sticky stuff is on top of this washi, but you see me rolling it up? Yeah, bye-bye. Caillou, no crying. What's wrong? You hear him whimpering? Yep, his name is Caillou after the cartoon. My daughter named him. She loved that cartoon when she was little. Caillou. All right, that sticky stuff, I don't know what that is. One more, I'm almost done with this. It may seem like I'm going a bit slow, but I am almost done. Yeah, so studying the word can be fun. You just have to make it fun it up and, and see how it apl and apply it to your life and see how it applies to your life. The word will always benefit us. It will always benefit us. There was one part where it said that God had given Ezekiel a scroll and the scroll had lamentation and woe. It was just sorrowful. It was just like, I guess, it was, it wasn't nice. And it contained the word that he was to deliver to the people of Israel. He, it, it, it wasn't nice. It said it was like, it was like funeral. If the translation in, in the NLT says it was like funeral um, um, passage. It wasn't an easy word, but he said he had to, God gave him the word to eat the word. He had to consume that word. He had to put that word down in his belly. And I'm saying to myself, God, why would he have to put that word down in his belly? Well, because he would have to go and give this word to the people of Israel. And he had to have that word in him first. So this is what I mean by the word having to deal with you. So he had to digest. He had to consume this word. It had to deal with him first. And then there was another part that says that when he ate it, it was as sweet as honey. I'm like, well, how can the how can the scroll have words that were like funeral passages? It was depressing, it was lamentation and woe and sorrowful. How could that be sweet as honey? But it says it somewhere else in the scriptures. And I wrote down my cross reference. I can't. I think it was Daniel 8 and 18, the cross reference that says that the word of God is as sweet as honey. Despite the fact it was a word of judgment, but it was sweet as honey. Why? Because even judgment helps to correct us and helps to keep us in right standing. So it is sweet as honey. He said, taste, David said, David said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Okay. Don't get preachy, Michelle, on the people. He came here to plan, but I'm just sharing the word. I love the word. Bible says that the word of God is like a two-edged sword, piercing and dividing asunder, separating. I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I'm can't talk and do things at the same time. I'm trying to look for for March. <laughs> um, the word of God is sharper than two-edged sword. Piercing and dividing asunder the soul from the spirit and the um, and it is a discerner of the intents of the heart, and it 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 helps to separate truth from false. Simply put, it helps to separate truth from false. I'm sorry. Um, yes, I almost got thrown off there. We are still in the month of March. This is the last week, and I wanted to make sure I was putting. I was looking for the for a gold, but I don't think there's, I'm in the dates and holidays book. I don't know if there was a gold. I, I used it for last week, I think, but nope, I used black. All right. I'm dreaming. I'm glad these numbers are here because I don't feel like replacing it. And let me go ahead and put 
Um, before I put down the last bit, let me go ahead and put this here. I think if I put this over, I don't have to white that out. Is that true? No, it's not true. You need to white it out. I put my um, cross-reference scripture on the side here. I have a Bible that um, shows the cross-reference for verses of scripture. That way you can see in other parts of the Bible where that word can help to solidify that passage or the book that you're in. Um, this is good. I don't like this. This is kind of off. I'm going to put it a little more in here. Okay. That's it. I like that. And then we're going to then we're going to go in with these circles. Oh, I'm going to take these. I'm going to put them this week. I'm going to put them right here in the bottom. to crap. I want it to be right up to the edge. I mean, you have these things just sitting, not doing anything. Might as well put them to use, right? Which is what I'm going to do. And then whichever chapter I'm reading for that day, I will write it in this little Bible. Okay, you look a little wonky. I've got it a little slanted. I don't know why. <sighs> no. God help me. I promise you I'm almost done because we're going on what? 21 minutes? That's my little faux pas. I'm just slow. Sorry. Sorry. And the thing about getting into the reading and understanding is a re the reading is like, oh man, I can't wait to see what happens next. It's like a good novel. Let me tell you something. The Bible has everything pertaining to life. There's sex, murder, scandal, you name it. It's in the Bible. And everything pertaining to every situation, the Bible has the answer. I don't care what you say, it has the answer. You're dealing with financial issues, read it in the Bible. You can read it in the Bible. You're dealing with a marriage issues, you can read it in the Bible. You're dealing with issues with your children, you can read it in the Bible. You're dealing with issues on your job, you can read it in the Bible. You're dealing with health issues, oh, you can read it in the Bible. There's nothing that the Bible does not have the answer for. You can definitely find it there. Scripture is here to edify us, build us up, encourage us, and give us direction. That it definitely can do. All right. Let's get in now with these cycles. See, I can put the circle here and cover up where that washi wanted to act janky. And then I can still have space to write in these boxes. That's what I'm trying to do, give myself as much white space as possible. Let me open up this book so that I can get some of these other ones. These have so much more gold. See? I am not putting God bless this hot mess. I don't want God to bless any mess. I want God to, to, to just bless. I'm not asking him to bless a mess. Let's see how we're putting these. Okay. I'm just making sure there's none that I'm missing. I'm gonna use them up. It's supposed to be staggered. I don't know how, but I've seen it done. But we're gonna we we're gonna work this out, right? 
We're gonna work it out. Maybe they all shouldn't be the same. Sorry, I got caught off there, but be a truth seeker. I'm gonna plop that in the middle, right here. Hopefully my video, my camera um, behaves. I don't see any reason why it should have. Nope, I'm not gonna put you there. Um, make today great. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that there. Um, nope, we already said we're not using bless this mess. No, we're not blessing any mess. Certain stickers I just, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not in agreement with. I'm not blessing any mess. Yeah, I like that. Put that there. Do, 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 do. And we continue on. Yes, praise him. Praise him. Uh, grace upon grace. Yes. I need grace every day. I need God's empowerment to do all that I need to do. And with my whole heart do I praise you, Lord. Do 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 do. Okay, we're continuing on. Peace. We need peace. And the word of God says, Peace I give to you, not as the world gives to you. Thank you, Lord, that you don't give me peace as the world gives me, but you give me peace that surpasses my understanding. It just it just baffles me how peaceful you can make me in the midst of a storm. Yes. Um, choose kindness, please. Choose kindness. Choose kindness. You can't reciprocate the behavior of others. I can lift this up a bit. And this one. Yeah, let us not reciprocate. We have to represent Christ. So we have to reciprocate. We can't reciprocate, I'm sorry. We can't reciprocate the behavior that others show towards us. We have to we have to be salt and light. And being salt and light means that we have to represent Christ in everything we do and in everything we say each and every day. I'm thinking I may find some smaller ones in this other fake book that I have, and I do believe so. Hey, this is the smaller one. Yep. Oh boy, yes, yes, yes. Let me use some um, truth and life. Yes, you are the way, the truth, and the life. And it says, be true. And to thine own self, please be true. Ah, oh, I love this. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I'm a word girl. I study and I digest and I live and breathe the word of God. Okay. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All right. They can't fault me for, for singing um, hymns, can they? All right. I'm just going to. Put these here. Oh yes. Grow where you're planted. I love these little ones. Okay. So we can finish this because my video keeps cutting off because it was saving to the SD card instead of the internal storage, which there is an abundance of. So let us be done. I love this. Do, 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 do. This is how you use up, you know, the stickers. Not have them just sitting around doing nothing. Right? Put that and right there. It's a see-through. That's awesome. And most of all, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Bible says pray without ceasing. And it says, pray 
one for another, one for another. That was, we're supposed to pray for each other because the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man produces great, great power. Our prayers produce power. Yes, they do. I'm like, what kind of power does it produce? The power to overcome trials. The power to overcome temptations. The power to do what God requires us to do. I like, well, this, I, I like this quote too, blessed to be stressed. We are, we truly are too blessed to be, to be stressed. We really shouldn't be stressing. Put that one there. Uh, I put the grace upon grace right there. I want a few of those. I like that these are the transparent ones. Let's put that there. I think this is a great way to just use up the stickers and not have them um, wasting away in the sticker book just doing nothing, right? Use them. You got them. Use them. I like this shine. Um, I'm going to close up the space here and here. Maybe add a few at the bottom there and I'm done. Yeah. Chosen, blessed, forgiven, redeemed, and loved. Amen. Um, let's see. That's another grace upon grace. I'm going to put that one down here. I don't want to take up too much of the space for me not to be able to write. Put that there. Is grace to pray. Great. I'm uh, pray. Can't stop with the pray. Pray, pray, and more pray. Prayer, prayer, more prayer. Pray, pray. Yes, pray all day, every day. Pray, pray without ceasing. Do 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 do. I don't want a dark color. Uh, another pray. I love it. I said I wanted to close up. I'm going to put that there because you can still see the joy. And then I'm going to put here. What do I want to put there? I'm going to put. Um, what do I want to put? Oh, I'm going to put this. A little Bible thing. I think that is it. I, I think I like that. I'm good with that. Let's leave it alone. Mess with it too much. Just won't look right. I think that's it. All right. So I am done. I am done, done, done. Sorry. I dropped a little bit. My. Camera. I want you to see the full view of what I've got going on here. All right, fix my camera and this is it. This is my faith planner layout for the week of March 25th to March 31st. I think it looks cute and if you do as well, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And I thank you so much for watching this plan with me in my faith planner. Uh, again, or I probably didn't say it first, but if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and go ahead and hit the bell. Thank you so much. And all of you be blessed.